Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decree 96 of 2021, appointing Ambassador Abdullah Faisal Jabba Al Dossari as the head of the Kingdom's diplomatic mission to Belgium, with the rank of Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 97 of 2021, amending some provisions of Royal Decree 54 of 2019 on the establishment of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, the MBMA. Under the decree, the Freer's Director General shall replace the Freer's Executive Director. In Articles 3 and 4 of Royal Decree 54 of 2019, and the establishment of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, the MBMA. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 98 of 2021, amending Article 1 of Royal Decree 23 of 2021 and restructuring the Foreign Affairs Ministry. The decree stipulates that the paragraphs 1 and 3 of Article 1 of Decree 23 of 2021 should be replaced by the following texts. Head of the Human Rights Sector and the Director General of the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies with the rank of Assistant Under Secretary, who will be responsible for 1. Directorate of Training and Languages 2. Directorate of Academic Affairs 3. Directorate of Studies and Evaluation A new item number 7 shall be added to paragraph 5 and a new item number 6 shall be added to paragraph 6 of Article 1 of Decree 23 of 2021 and restructuring the Foreign Affairs Ministry as follows. Paragraph 5, item 7. 7. Head of the Organisation Sector. Paragraph 6, item 6. 6. Head of Legal Affairs Sector. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan reviewed by phone the deep rooted fraternal relations between the two countries and means of strengthening them in all fields to meet the aspirations of the two peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 46 of 2021 that states moving a Dr. Baya Al Jishi from the diplomatic mission to Belgium to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 47 of 2021, appointing the following directors at the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority. Sanan Ali Nasser Mohsen, Director of Audit and Licensing. Ali Ahmed Abdullah Daif, Director of Resources and Information. Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, stressed strong and strategic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the USA, pointing to keenness to continue boosting bilateral relations and achieving common aspirations. His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister was speaking as he met the former US Vice President and Board Chairman of Cerberus Global Investments, Dan Quayle, who was accompanied by the Deputy Board Chairman, Brian Hook, and Chief Executive, Frank Bruno. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Deputy Prime Minister welcomed the guests, praising the role of the international capital management companies in backing economic development. The meeting cast light on the issues of common interest and the latest global economic developments. The President of Cyprus, Nikos Anastadiadis, and his accompanying delegation left Bahrain, concluding a visit to the Kingdom, during which he met with His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Cypriot President was bidden farewell at Bahrain International Airport by the Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Amin bin Tafik Al Mouayed, the Head of the Mission of Honour, Maharik Governor, Salman bin Isa bin Hindi Al Menai, and a number of senior officials. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the Sports General Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Bahrain Tennis Club and Al Nasser Cultural and Sports Club as part of his approach to increase communication with and support sports authorities. 
His Highness hailed the efforts of the two clubs in holding activities and events and encouraging the youth to practice sports and participate in sports teams and competitions that contribute to the development of Bahraini sports. His Highness listened to a briefing on the two clubs' future plans to continue the efforts of developing administrative and technical cadres. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed hope that the two teams continue their efforts to make further sports achievements. For their part, the President of the Bahrain Tennis Club, Kamis Mohamed al makai and the President of the NASA Club, Abdul Amir Athiya Jazim, expressed pleasure with His Highness's visit, expressing appreciation for his efforts in serving and developing sports in the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said of Oman regarding the strong brotherly relations that bind the two countries. The letter was delivered by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, to the Deputy Prime Minister for International Relations and Cooperation Affairs and Special Representative of His Majesty the Sultan, His Highness Al Said Asad bin Tariq Al Said, where His Highness received the Minister of Foreign Affairs today in Muscat. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed the strong bilateral ties, as well as means of enhancing them. The meeting was attended by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Sultanate of Oman, His Excellency Sayyid Bada bin Hamid bin Hamoud al Busaidi, and Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Muscat, Dr Juma Ahmed al Kabi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr Abdul Latif bin Rashid al Ziani, has arrived in Muscat. He was welcomed by the Omani Minister of Foreign Affairs, Saeed Bada bin Hamid bin Hamoud al Busaidi, and Bahrain's ambassador to Oman, Dr. Juma Ahmed al Kabi. During his meeting with the Cypriot Foreign Minister's visit to the Kingdom, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Al Ziani, welcomed the guest praising the results of the official visit paid by the President Nikos Anastadiades to Cyprus to Bahrain following the invitation of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister stated that His Majesty the King and the Cypriot President, with participation of the delegations of the two countries, held a fruitful session of talks which reflected the mutual respect relations between both countries. The two sides also reviewed the means of bolstering cooperation in various fields and discussed developments in the region. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Cypriot Minister of Energy, Commerce and Industry, Natasha Pelades, where he stressed the need to develop the bilateral relations, especially in the field of oil and gas. Sheikh Mohammed added that these meetings are an opportunity to exchange experiences, review the latest in modern technologies, and to find development investment opportunities and innovative solutions in the field of oil and gas. For her part, the Cypriot minister affirmed her aspiration to build on the results of the meeting, praising the initiatives adopted by Bahrain to develop this vital and important sector. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalif, held a meeting with his Cypriot counterpart, Minister of Agriculture, Rural Development and Environment, Kostas Kadis. Khalif stressed the importance of enhancing the bilateral relations, especially in the agricultural field, in line with Bahrain's strategic vision for the future. For his part, the Cypriot minister affirmed his aspiration to build on the results of the meeting held with the minister, stressing the importance of the agricultural initiatives adopted by Bahrain, noting his aspiration to continue developing bilateral cooperation with Bahrain. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Ziani, met with the Cypriot Minister of Energy, Commerce and Industry, Natasha Pelades. He was accompanying the Cypriot President on his official visit to the Kingdom. 
Aziani stressed the importance of advancing the relations between Bahrain and Cyprus, especially in the industry and trade sector, which is one of the pillars of Bahrain's vision 2030. The Minister of Industry and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority also met with the Cypriot Deputy Minister of Tourism, Savas Perias Alizani stressed the need to further enhance the bilateral ties in the tourism sector to achieve common goals. For his part, this Cypriot Deputy Minister noted that these visits and meetings will enhance cooperation to benefit from the expertise of both countries. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr Mohamed Mubarak bin Daina, met with Cypriot's Minister of Agriculture, Rural Development and Environment, Kostas Kadis. Bin Daina stressed the importance of developing bilateral relations related to environmental cooperation and combating climate change. Kadis stressed the need for enhancing the bilateral ties to benefit the two friendly countries. The Economic Development Board, the EDB Chief Executive Khaled Ibrahim Hamedan, issued a media statement on the visit of the President of Cyprus to the headquarters of the EDB in the presence of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. He stressed the importance of this visit during which the President was briefed on the development experience of Bahrain and the efforts of the EDB. The Cypriot government spokesman, Marius Polikanos, thanked the EDB and said that they see great prospects for strengthening further cooperation between the two countries. In a new international achievement that affirms Bahrain's international position and for the second year in a row, Bahrain ranked first in the Arab world and second in the Middle East in terms of the least risk of money laundering and terrorist financing, according to the Basel Anti-Money Laundering Index. The Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain at the CBB and Chairman of the Policy Committee for Banning and Combating Money Laundering and Terrorism Financing, Sheikh Salman Benisa Al Khalifa, stated that Bahrain scored 4.5 points, according to the report which is the only independent indicator issued by a non-profit organisation that ranks countries according to the risks of money laundering. The Deputy Governor of the CBB hailed the support of the Minister of Interior and the Chairman of the Committee for Combating Extremism, Terrorism and its Financing and Money Laundering for Bahrain's role and its national efforts in combating money laundering and terrorist financing crimes. For her part, the Director of the Financial Intelligence Directorate, the FID, and the Ministry of Interior Deputy Chairperson of the Anti-Money Laundering and Terror Financing Committee, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that the FID, within the framework of its work in the Ministry of Interior system, seeks to enhance the Kingdom's role on the regional and international levels in combating money laundering and terrorist financing in accordance with the national vision in this regard. Under the patronage of the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH President, and Bahrain Diabetes Society Chairman, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Academy for Obesity Conference will be held on the 17th of this month, highlighting health risks from obesity. And to speak more about this, we are joined by consultant endocrinologist and head of the Department of Medicine at King Hamad University Hospital and chair of the Scientific Committee at Bahrain Diabetes Society, Professor Dalal Aramehi. Hello, Professor Dalal. Hello, good evening. Tell us about what the conference will be discussing and how it will further improve approaches to deal with obesity health risks. Well, we're thrilled about this conference because it starts a great collaboration between Bahrain Diabetes Society, King Hamad University Hospital and the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, University of Bahrain, to create a network of physicians who are fully equipped to prevent, diagnose, evaluate and manage patients living with obesity in the kingdom. We know that globally the rates of obesity has been increasing and we need to equip the doctors with the most updated knowledge to be able to cater for the needs of patients with obesity so that we can ultimately achieve our ultimate goal which is reducing obesity and subsequent risks like obesity is a risk factor for many diseases, non-communicable diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, cancer and many others. Thank you. And that was consultant endocrinologist and head of the Department of Medicine at King Hamid University Hospital and chair of the Scientific Committee at Bahrain Diabetes Society, Professor Dalal Aramehi.